everyone, my name is Joanna Michelle. Today we are going to be doing a simple mobility flow. It is something that you can include in the morning when you wake up every day, which will allow you to kind of open up your body and just release any tension that you might be feeling. So we're going to start in a seated position. Uh, we're going to sit cross legs. If you'd like, you can cross your legs under or just place one leg in front of the other. If you feel like there's any tension on your lower back or on your spine, you're going to sit on one or two cushions. So it will keep your hips slightly elevated and release any tension in your back. When you come to a comfortable position, you're going to relax your hands onto your knees. We're going to take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, relax any tension in the face, in the neck, in the shoulders. One more, deep breath in. And exhale. We're going to make sure our spine stays nice and long, our core is engaged. And we're going to start with neck rotations to the right. So we go to the right for four. three, two, and one. And we're changing directions, going to the left for four, three, two, and one bringing your head back to center we're going to tuck your chin down we're going to interlock your fingers and place it at the back of your head just above the base of your neck and allow your elbows to weigh down gently stretching out the back of the neck so as you press down with your palms you're going to press your head back into your hands taking deep breaths in and we release we're going to place your thumbs under your chin and we're going to gently stretch upwards and we release. We're going to reach your left arm out to the side, right arm goes overhead, grabbing hold of your head. You want to make sure that the right shoulder stays down and away from your ear and you're going to feel the stretch along the left side of your neck and we breathe. And we change direction. Again, making sure that the shoulder stays down and away from the ear. And release. You're going to bring your left hand down to the side and we're gently going to reach the right arm overhead. You can keep your elbow off the floor and you want to make sure that the right hip does not come up. So we're going to keep the right hip down, we're going to keep the right knee down. You want to feel the stretch along the right side of the body as you reach overhead twisting the chest up towards the ceiling inhale exhale a little bit deeper inhale and exhale a little bit deeper if you can get your elbow onto the floor while maintaining your hip position and then we're going to inhale to reach out and up and as you exhale you're going to place your left hand onto your right knee and we're going to final twist towards the back. Again, inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to twist a little bit more, a little bit deeper into it. And we come back to center, we're changing sides. So going over to the right, right hand down, left arm reaches overhead, keeping the chest open. Inhale. And exhale a little bit deeper. Again, making sure the left hip stays down. Inhale, exhale a little bit deeper. One more, inhale, and exhale a little bit deeper. We're gonna inhale to reach out and up, and as we exhale, we're gonna spinal twist, right hand comes to the left knee, and we lift and twist. Again, inhale to lift, creating length in the spine and exhale to twist and we come back to center placing your hands onto your knees again we're going to go into spinal circle so i'm just going to sit in profile so you can see placing your hands on your knees we're going to make a big circle with the chest towards the right we're going to squeeze our shoulders back 
and as you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, rounding through the spine. And we're going to the right again for three, two, and one. Again, you can perform this sitting on a block or sitting on cushions to give your spine that range of motion. And going over to the left, again, we go for four, big circles, three, two, and one. We release, we're gonna come onto all fours. You're gonna have your palms directly under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, placing the toes down. And as you inhale, we're gonna curl through the lower back, mid back, upper back, and head to arch all the way up. And as you exhale, we're rounding the spine to curl. Chin to chest, pushing the floor away from you. Can we inhale to arch? Exhale to curl. Inhale to arch. Exhale to curl. We're doing three more of these. Inhale to arch. Exhale, curl two more. Inhale to arch, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Exhale to curl. Last one, inhale to arch. And then we're gonna come back to a neutral position with the spine, so you wanna make sure that you're not arching in the back. We squeeze the belly in, we push the floor away from us, tuck the toes under, and we're gonna hover the knees off the floor by one inch, and we're staying there for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna place the knees back down. Again, keeping the toes tucked, we're gonna pull the hips back all the way to downward facing dog. If you feel like your spine is rounding, you can keep your knees bent, gently pushing your chest towards your thighs, pushing the floor away from you. And we're gonna walk the heels out side to side just to open up the hamstrings a little bit. Gently keep walking, one heel up, the other one down. Again, placing both heels back and down, lengthening out through the spine. And we come back onto all fours. We're gonna go into a simple lunge just to open up the quads and the hamstrings a little bit. I would recommend keeping blocks handy next to you so that you can make sure your body has the right alignment. So we're gonna use our blocks on the highest setting. If you need to use two blocks on each side, you could also have one block down and the other one on top of it. So I'm gonna come into a lunge on the right side so my right foot is forward. When I push my pelvis forward, I wanna make sure that my ankle is directly under my knees. I'm gonna bring my blocks to the side and I'm gently gonna tuck my pelvis forward so I'm not leaning into my thigh and pulling my belly back. And we're just gonna hold here for a few counts, keeping the chest lifted. Nice deep breaths. If you feel your hips open up, you can lunge a little bit deeper into it. And then with the right leg forward, I'm gonna place my hand onto the right block. You can also take it down to a medium setting. And I'm gonna reach my left arm over. Again, breathing into the stretch. And I come back to center. I'm gonna bring my blocks up to a high position and I'm gonna pull my hips back as I straighten the front leg. Again, in this position, which is a half split, you wanna make sure that your hips are more or less over your knees. We try to straighten out the, knee, the back of the knee as much as possible. And we want to avoid having this kind of a tuck in the pelvis. So I'm gonna try and reach my tailbone back. It's perfectly fine to keep your chest lifted. So if you feel like when you take your chest lower, your spine starts to curl or your knee starts to bend or your hip starts to tuck under, you're gonna just go a little bit higher and find the length. Length going out through the tailbone and from the crown of the head and the chest. We're just gonna stay here. We're gonna flex the toes towards you and wiggle it out left to right, just to open up the hamstrings a little bit. And 
and then we bring the block to center and we can reach that leg out and around and we change sides bringing the left foot forward going back into a lunge again making sure the ankle stays under the knee blocks by your side without arching and leaning into the front leg we tuck the belly in tuck the pelvis under and keep the chest lifted staying here for a few breaths Again, if you have a very thin yoga mat, you can double it up under your knee or use a folded towel or t-shirt to make sure there's no pressure on the back knee. And placing the left hand on the left block, you're going to reach the right arm over into a side stretch. Deep breaths, keep rotating your chest towards the ceiling. And we come back to center. Bringing our blocks back to the highest position, we're pulling our hips back, making sure the hips are more or less over the knee, and we straighten out the front leg. Again, make sure that you're not too low and we're not collapsing in the spine or bending the knee. You keep the chest lifted, reaching out from the tailbone, reaching out from the crown of the head. Again, we're staying here for a few breaths, breathing into the back of the hamstring. And when you feel it open up a little bit, we're going to shift the foot side to side again without bending the knee. So just wiggling it out, releasing the tension in the calf and in the hamstring. And then we bring the block to the center and we're going to reach that leg out and around and come back onto our knees. So one of the last stretches that we're going to do is to open up the triceps and our shoulders. We spend a lot of time sitting, working on our laptops and working on our phones. So I would recommend doing this against a chair or a couch or the edge of your bed. So we're going to come into a kneeling position you want to have. And if you have, again, sensitive knees, you can always roll up your mat and bring it um, under your knees because we're going to try and stay in this position for anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. Um, so get a nice comfortable position, knees are going to be wide. You want your knees to be right under your hips so you can move them for the back if needed. And we're going to bring our triceps, our elbows, onto the couch. Once you come into this position again, you're going to have your palms together. You can walk your knees back as needed so you don't want to be here. You want your knees back and under your hips. And we're going to try and sink the head through here. And now as you inhale, we're going to round the spine up a little bit. And as you exhale, chest towards the floor. We're going to do five of these. Again, inhale to round the spine up. Exhale to arch. Inhale to round the spine. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale and we're reaching the chest down and we're staying there. Deep breaths, I would recommend if you can hold this stretch for longer than 10 to 30 seconds, you can go ahead and do that. Nice deep breaths. With every exhalation, just allowing the shoulders to open up allowing the upper back to open up. And then when you're ready, you're slowly going to roll out of the stretch. You can walk your feet back in and release. Yeah, I would recommend if you can stay in the stretch longer, if that's comfortable for you, you can go ahead and do that. And it will make your chest and your shoulders and your upper back feel really nice and open. So these are some of my favorite stretches that I do Every day, even when I'm not training, it's something I do in the morning. It makes my body feel really nice and open. So you can follow along and hopefully it does that for you as well.